It is Thursday, June 4th, as it says right there. Uh, less email news today, because apparently there's no Daily Wire email. Yahoo Sports, read and react. Trending. MLB rejects player's proposal. 50-game season closer to reality. NBA's plan to return. July 31st start. 22 teams in Orlando. Bubba Wallace encourages other drivers to speak out on social justice. Come on, dude. Johnny Majors, college football legend, dies at 85. Breeze feeling the heat. Morning, friends. So, ever see a quarterback sack himself? <sighs> Speaking to our friends over at Yahoo Finance on Wednesday, Drew Brees responded to a question about possible player protests in 2020 by saying he doesn't agree with protests during the anthem because he respects the flag. I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country, Brees said. Is everything right with our country right now? No, it is not. We still have a lo long way to go, but I think what you do by standing there and showing respect to the flag with your hand over your heart is it shows unity. It shows that we are all in this together. We can all do better and that we are all part of the solution. That sounds perfectly fine to me. Noble ideals worthy of respect. Also, not really the issue here. Drew Brees doesn't miss many targets, but after he conflated Colin Kaepernick's kneeling with patriotism, in short, suggesting that Kaepernick, while exercising his right to protest, was being unpatriotic, he fucking was, douchebag! There are an awful lot of people who believe Brees missed big this time around. What infuriated so many people, including Breeze's top receiver and top running back, was that it sure seemed like we'd gotten past the whole Kaepernick was disrespecting the flag business. Kaepernick was seeking to bring attention to police brutality. Kaepernick was seeking to bring attention to himself. The very issue that's consuming the world right now. There are valid discussions to have around the premise of Kaepernick's protest, but wrapping yourself in the flag is a non-starter. If the point is to challenge Cap's protest, then do so on its merits, not by questioning his sincerity or patriotism. Kaepernick devised his protest in collaboration with the Green Beret in what proved to be a short, silent, non-violent, non-destructive demonstration. Non-professional demonstration. A sharp contrast to what we're seeing now. Not surprisingly, the world of sports had thoughts on what Breeze said. Oh, everybody has thoughts. Everybody always has thoughts. Everybody does not deserve to have their thoughts heard. This is... The world sucks now because everybody is having their thoughts heard. You literally still don't understand why Cap was kneeling on one knee, LeBron James tweeted. It has absolutely nothing to do with the disrespect of the flag and our soldiers, men and women who keep our land free. Yeah, it had everything to do with bringing attention to himself. With bringing... <sighs> that uncomfortable conversation you are trying to avoid by injecting military into a conversation about brutality and equality is part of the problem, said 49ers cornerback Richard Sherman. But outside critics are one thing, if, or of more concern to Breeze ought to be the fact that several of his top teammates, including receiver Michael Thomas, came out strongly against him. He don't know no better. Oh, really? He don't know no better, Thomas tweeted, following that with, we don't care if you don't agree and whoever else, how about that? Alvin Kamara added a simple telling, oop. Breeze has done phenomenal good for the city of New Orleans, exactly. He's a justifiable hero to that town. But right now, what his teammates clearly want is not for him to write a check, but to listen to other views. It'll be interesting to see how New Orleans, one of the clear Super Bowl favorites in the NFC, navigates these unexpectedly choppy waters. <sighs> Don't follow Jay Busby on Twitter. How about that? Game plan. Wetzel. Vic Banjo apologizes for statement on race in the NFL. Stop making people apologize. Stop making people apologize for their own opinions. Goodwill. The NBA is back, but it's a major gamble dotted with risks. Kaiser. Will brazen cheapness turn public against MLB owners? I Personally, I don't feel against the owners. Personally, I feel against the players. That's... That's what I'm, that's, that's my opinion. My opinion doesn't matter much because I don't even watch baseball. So yeah, what the fuck am I talking about? Why do I care? I have nothing to say, but I'm just saying, I'm reading, I'm, I've read the news. I've heard the talk. The players are the ones being the fucking assholes in my opinion. K 
can't say we saw this one coming. Jameis Winston's career after Drew Brees pissed off his wide receivers. Hilarious. Hold on. This email disappeared from my inbox for a few seconds. Not sure where it went. Possibly fell into a black hole and entered an alternate reality, but now it's back. So here we go. The Daily Yahoo, brought to you by Yahoo News. 